I'm Fran. I teach swimming to adults who are fearful of entering the water, or for those who just haven't learned how to swim yet. So I don't suppose what you'd call what I'm doing is swimming, but I'm suspended in the water. I'm balancing. And you notice that my hands and arms are constantly in motion. That's because on the ground we balance primarily with our feet. But when we swim, that shifts to our hands and arms. Tricky. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Swimming is a skill that will serve you the rest of your life. So, come on. Let's get started. So you want to learn how to swim? Great. Well, I don't suppose what you, you'd call what I'm doing is, is swimming, but I am suspended in the water. I'm balancing. And balance is what swimming is all about. On the ground, we balance primarily with our feet. But when we swim, the balance shifts primarily to our hands and arms. Tricky, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Swimming is a skill that will serve you the rest of your life. So, hey, come on, let's get started. This is what you're going to need and some of what you aren't going to need. A bathing suit and a towel. Hey, that's pretty much it. But, you know, a snorkeling gear, no. We aren't going to be ready for snorkeling gear for some time, so don't, uh, don't, don't mess with it. Let's put it to the side. Goggles? Yeah, eventually, but it's going to be several lessons before we're going to be using goggles. And a bathing cap? Well, there isn't a bathing cap on the market that'll keep your hair dry, but it will keep the hair out of your face, or a bandana will work too. Now, you are not going to need any kind of flotation device, so hey, get the noodles out of the pool, okay? You're going to need a timer, plain old kitchen timer, some sunscreen, one thing to remember about sunscreen, don't put it on your forehead and don't put it around your eyes or it'll leak into your eyes and ooh, it stings like crazy. Now, <clears throat> you might want to put on a shirt like I have. I need a little more protection from the sun. The darker the color, the better. A white shirt doesn't offer that much protection. The other thing uh, I want you to have is a person. The person is somebody that should be in the pool with you, okay? Not out sitting on the side reading or texting or going back and forth and doing something or other. And ideally, this person should be somebody who has reviewed the lesson with you. They can really, really help out a great deal. That's about it. Let's get started. Location. Location, location. What you need is a nice, calm, warm body of water. No oceans, no rivers, please. The temperature should be between 84 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit and 29 to 31 degrees Celsius. This is Carolina. Hi. Are you, Carolina, are you a swimmer? No, I don't know how to swim. Well, are you kind of scared? Of course, absolutely. <laughs> okay, but don't worry. We're going to take baby steps. Okay. If you're not a swimmer, or even if you're not a strong swimmer, of course you're going to have a fear of the water. I mean, gosh, that's only human nature, okay? I want to make two things clear about these swimming lessons, all right? One, you're not going to have to go in deep water. That's about the level of water. That's all you're going to need for any of these lessons, okay? And the second thing is, I'm going to teach you how to swim with your face out of the water so you can breathe, okay? And you can see where you're going. Now, a little about safety around a pool. You know, 
a towel. There's usually one poolside. Okay? If you see someone having trouble in the water, grab a hold of one and keep a hold of it and throw the other one and tow them back to safety. Okay? Another feature, another important feature of safety is to have someone in the pool with you. Okay? In the pool with you. Someone you trust. Okay? However, don't, don't use this person for support and don't hang on to them. And don't allow them to support you. Have you ever had someone hold you on your back in the water? Well, this woman is thinking, geez, I hope she doesn't drop me. Or, how am I ever going to get my feet back under me? It's important that you learn to balance in the water solo from the very, very beginning. We are going to learn strokes later on. But balance... Balance comes first. Balance comes first, then we add strokes. Go on to lesson one.